Okay, fifth graders, this is 4-7, <clears throat> and this is your homework for Wednesday, which is tomorrow, because I'm doing this after school. You guys just left a little while ago. So 4-7, uh, actually a lot of what 4-7 is, uh, honestly, I don't, I, I think it could be more confusing. They, too, they do touch on using properties, and we talked about properties early on in, in chapter two. Um, you know, so, so for example, just, just as a reminder, the associative property, um, associative property, that's supposed to be two S's there, associative property, that uh, states that you can change the grouping of the add-ins. So, for example, um, 2.3 plus 5.6 plus 0 0.05 is the same as, I don't know, 0.05 plus 5.6 plus 2.3. So you can change the order of the numbers and, and you'll get the same answer. The other one we talked about was the commutative property. And this is, um, that's supposed to be two M's there, commutative property. This is on, what page is it? These are on pages, uh, or page 46. So, and you should be familiar with these, with these properties here, the associative property and the commutative property. Um, Anyways, commutative property uh, lets you, you can add uh, any two decimals or lets you add two decimals in any order. In any order. So, um, I don't know, 11.12 plus 5.6 is the same as 5.6 plus 11.12, okay? And so um, that's what they talk about using properties to, to help you solve uh, multiplying with decimals. I'm not going to go over the, uh, this first page here. I'm not sure what page that is. Let me see here, that's page, 154 uh, and I'm not going to worry about the convince me here uh, if, if you want to look at that you can I honestly think it just makes it more confusing so I'm not going to teach it that's just that's the bottom line if you want to look at it and think it's a, an, an aid to you then then go for it um, but we've been going over multiple ways of solving you know multiplying decimals together and i'm not going to go over a third way so they have another example here and again i'm, I'm not going to i'm not going to go over this um, but i will just jump right it down into the guided practice here and uh, let's just start looking at some of these that uh, you guys can you know probably do on your own here it says mason is uh, i'm looking at number one mason is multiplying three times five plus point one, I'm sorry, three times five times point 0.1 times point 0.1. What decimal multiplication problem is he solving? Well, think about it this way. What is three times point 0.1? That's gonna be point 0.3, okay? And that's gonna be times, whoops, to use that that's going to be times and then uh, what's five times point one that's point five and so really that's what he's solving point three times point five and then it says uh, complete Mason's work uh, point three times point five well what's three times five that's 15 move the decimal over two places 0.15 is the answer. Let's look at number three here. Um, number three, 
it's uh, 0.3 times 0.7. So let me write that over here. Uh, so 0.3 times 0.7. What's 3 times 7? 21. How many decimal places do we have to move over to get everything to the far right? Two places. So instead of 21, it's 0.21. You'd put the decimal two places over in front of the two. All right. Um, let's look at number four. Uh, number four, I'll do it over here in the black where you can see it a little better. We got 0.63 and times 2.8. And I'll just put a 2.8 right there. Now, just so you know, um, if I did it this way, if I did the 0.63 on top and the 2.8 down below, I'm going to get the same answer. It doesn't really matter. So 3 times 8 is what? 24. Put down the 4. Carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 2 more is 8. Put a placeholder 0. 6 times 8 is 48. Put down the 8. Carry the 4. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16. Now we're just adding them together and go straight down. 4 and 0 is 4. 8 and 8 is 16. Put down the 6, carry the 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. 1 comes straight down. Now how many decimal places do we have to move? Well, we've got 1 there, 2, 3. So a total of 3 places to get the decimals to the far right. So we come straight down here. We're starting at the far right. We go in three places. One, two, three. 1.764. 1.764 is the answer. All right. So do the rest of these. Do 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You guys can do those. Let's see here. Um, I am looking at uh, number 16. I better turn down my music here because I don't want my video to um, get shut down because of some copyright issue. <laughs> I think you guys remember that happened a few weeks back and I couldn't have to do the whole video over again because I had some music going in the background and I picked it up. Okay, um, let's look at this here. It says uh, the total rainfall in March was 3.6 inches. In April, it was 1.4 times as much. What was the total rainfall? Well, what's 3.6 times 1.4? You should be able to solve that. And 17, a newly hatched alligator. Speaking of alligators, I pulled this picture off the internet. Look at the size of this guy. Here's the world record for uh, an alligator. 13 feet, 11 inches, and a little bit over 1,000 pounds. Now, this picture here, that's not a picture of that particular alligator, but it's a picture of a very large alligator. And, uh, oh my gosh, they get big. So anyways, back to number 17 here. 17 says... Um, a newly hatched alligator is a 0.5 of a foot, which is what? That's a half a foot uh, long, and so so six inches. An alligator is 16.4 times as long. Um, how many feet longer is the adult alligator than the newborn alligator? Well, what you're going to have to do is 16.4 times 0.5 and you're going to get an answer okay and then it says how many feet longer is the adult alligator than the newborn remember the newborn's a half a foot so your answer you're going to have to compare your answer uh, to a half a foot or six inches all right number 18 uh, Nature Club held grasshopper jumping contest. Good luck with that. The distance Bugmaster jumped. The distance the Bugmaster jumped is 1.2 times the distance. Uh, the distance Green Lightning jumped. The distance Top Hopper jumped is 1.5 times the distance Bugmaster jumped. Oh my gosh! Complete the table to show the distances. Oh my gosh! Okay. First off, what's the information we got here? 
it says uh, the distance Bugmaster jumped is 1.2 times the distance of green lightning. So Bugmaster we don't have. Green lightning we do, and it's 1.4. And so, um, Bugmaster jumped 1.2 times the distance of green lightning. So, to fill out that one, you need to do 1.4 times 1.2 equals. And that answer, um, whatever you get there, and I'll just do this, that answer goes there okay and then um, it says the distance top hopper jumped is 1.5 the times the distance of Bugmaster. okay so then your answer gosh I hope it's correct all right times uh, 1.5 equals and I'll do this one in green the top hopper man confusing they don't make these easy convoluted all right that means uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense sometimes 19 what are we doing in 19 here um, 19. Amanda bought a six cup bag of shredded cheese for $6.89. She used 2.2 cups to make lasagna and 1.2 cups to make pizza. How much cheese is left? That's easy. What are we doing here? Um, first off, they gave us some information that's unnecessary. Price doesn't matter. We're not talking about price. We're talking about how much cheese is left. Quantity. And she used um, she used 2.25, and then she used 1.25, and then you're going to get an answer, and then you're going to subtract that answer from six cups, from 6.00. You're going to subtract what your answer is, and then you'll get then your final answer is how much cheese. Is left all right number 20 Jody drew the Eiffel Tower 6.5 inches tall she thought it was too tall okay so she multiplied its height by 0.8 the second drawing was too short so she multiplied its height by 1.2 predict whether her last drawing was shorter the same or taller than the first drawing i'm not interested in predictions although you could guess if you wanted to um because your predictions are going to vary so she drew it 6.5 inches tall for starters okay and so she multiplied that by 0.8 so 6.5 times 0.8 and we'll get an answer and then uh, the second drawing was too short so she multiplied its height so whatever your answer is here's your answer okay there's your answer these are one and the same you're going to multiply those that or that answer by 1.2 times 1.2 all right and then you'll get a another answer and um, so let's see here check your prediction by finding the height of the last drawing so this is what we're looking for here the height of this one all right but remember you have to do this one first and that one goes there and then you multiply that one whatever that answer is by 1.2 all right 21 22 multiple choice you guys can do those on your own that's it we're done with uh what was this four seven 
Yep, 4.7. Okay. And I will see you guys, well, I will see some of you on Thursday. <laughs>